the generosity of my mother when she first came to Guyana, the generosity of her bringing my father's brothers and sisters to live with them in Georgetown, to give them an education, to help them further themselves the way my grandparents, especially my grandfather, had helped to send my father away to university to do dentistry. When my father became premier, and we lived at the Red House from 1961 to 1964, obviously those years, he would have been under a lot of stress and a lot of pressure with the politics. But he still found time to do things with me. Um, he actually taught me to swim at La Pupu, which was one of his relax main relaxation that he could do, and also he played a lot of tennis. My mom, when, after that he died, she used to come up to Canada and spend three, to, three weeks a month with us. And it was really nice to get to know her on a different basis. Her heart was very hard when daddy passed away. She may not, most people would not know. It was difficult for her. She was quite lonely. But she carried on with the struggle. I am really proud to have had such parents, not just because of who they were politically, but who they were as human beings, for their moral values, their high values of integrity, and the way they lived their lives, not just their personal lives, but their political lives. As a teenage girl, I was always really proud that my parents never cheated on each other. They didn't smoke. Mommy smoked a little bit. And they didn't drink either. So it was something that you would want to emulate. Uncle Jelly was a man of infinite patience, and he lived a true life to his deeply held value. Values of honesty, integrity, and peace. He was never seduced by his glitz and glamour. He lived a simple life in a simple house. One visiting him one day would be offered a mango, a apple, a sapodilla, and a glass of probably coconut water. Whatever faults others may have found in him, he was never faulted for his probity and integrity. He never wavered from his dedication to the struggle for freedom and the upliftment of all. And in this struggle, he remained committed and true to peaceful and democratic methods. 